Yo, what's going on guys? It's G Miners here, and I recently uploaded this video, which covered Monochromatic Maestro, which is a brand new artifact mod this season. I was super hyped for this mod because it potentially meant that we had a new highest buff stacking setup in Destiny 2. Originally, I tested this thing and found that it did not stack with Fontamite, and I posted a full video on that, but I was wrong. Kinda. In typical Bungie fashion, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, which I will be getting into. So I took that original video down and wanted to clear some things up in this video. But all in all, this mod now allows you to stack damage higher than ever before. Looking at the base mod, by dealing damage with an ability, we are going to receive a boost to weapon damage of the same element, and then vice versa, dealing damage with a weapon will then buff abilities of the same element type as well. This is super similar to Font of Might, and with abilities that repeatedly apply damage to enemies, this repeatedly refreshes the damage boost to weapons. So theoretically, using something like a Solar Grenade would constantly keep this buff up, then continue to keep it up when Scorch stacks did damage as well, until they eventually run out. When testing originally, I was running a stasis build that I'd put out last season, which was great at keeping Font of Might up, plus it had stasis turrets, which would keep Monochromatic up, so it seemed like the perfect build. But for some reason, this mod either doesn't work with stasis or doesn't work with stasis shards. Not sure exactly what is happening here. More likely than not, it's Bungie Spaghetti Code back in action. But retesting with Solar now, Monochromatic Maestro is going to come in at a 10% damage increase. So just by using our grenade here, we're going to be hitting 10% harder with Solar weapons. However, if we have Fontamite active already, which is a 25% damage boost, then try to get Monochromatic to proc, it doesn't work. But if we do proc Monochromatic, then grab an Elemental Well with Fontamite, we do get it to proc. So we are able to get both the 25% from Fontamite and the 10% from Monochromatic. That being said, as soon as Monochromatic runs out, we're going to lose that 10% damage increase and are just left with Font of Might. And you cannot refresh the Monochromatic buff even while you have times two active. So basically, best case scenario, you deal damage with an ability, grab Font of Might, and then have five seconds of this maximum damage. This does now technically mean with a 30% debuff, 25% buff from Well, 25% boost from Font, and then this 10% boost from Monochromatic, this is now the highest buff stacking we have had in the game for a normal setup, and you can obviously take this even further with a 40% buff and two additional 10% boosts from Lumina and Power of Rasputin. So all in all, this is the highest buff stacking we have ever had in a recent season, to my knowledge. As I mentioned, I did remove my original video because it was technically wrong, but I still stand by the fact that this mod is actually dog ass. Yes, it does let you stack higher than ever, but as I've shown, it barely works as is. The only reason I see for using this is the 10% boost to ability damage, and even then, for 6 energy, it isn't even worth it. I will be live running the dungeon tomorrow at reset. A link to my Twitch is in the description below if you guys want to check that out. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. As always, have a good one. Peace.